Welcome back to my kitchen. I'm Faraday. We're here for the cooking show and today I'm going to make, it's going to be a mortadella, salami, cheesy morning bun. First thing we're going to do is make the dough. So to get started, I'm going to heat up about a half a cup of milk with half a cup of water until it gets to 115 degrees. And then we're going to add our sugar and our yeast and allow the yeast to bloom. One packet of active dry yeast. We're also going to put about two tablespoons of sugar. And then we have in this bowl, we've got two and three quarters cup of flour. Um, I'm just going to add a little bit of salt to that. I'm gonna do one egg yolk into this. This dough is super easy. It's an enriched dough. It's enriched with butter and it's gonna be enriched with um, egg yolk also. And we're just using normal all-purpose flour. If you wanna use a different flour, Google it. I'm not here to tell you what to do with these conversions. If you wanna use different yeast, if you wanna use different flour, Google that stuff, okay? It's not my fault. I'm trying to make it as easy as possible, okay? It needs to be 115 degrees. If it gets hotter than 115 degrees, it can um, kill the yeast, okay? You don't want it too, too hot. You want it just hot enough to incubate that yeast and make it bloom and grow happily. I don't know if you guys have one of these thermometers and meat thermometer. If you don't, um, you could probably use a, the whatever you're using to um, check your temperature daily for COVID. 94 degrees, 95? 98 degrees. Anyways, I'm healthy. Now we're gonna have our milk and water. Gonna take a moment to bloom, so now we just wait. Wait, wait, wait for it to bloom. Oh, did I mention Sicily? No. Sicily. Okay, butter goes in, egg yolk goes on in, and then we're gonna add in our salt and flour. Pop it on down, lock it on in. Here, I'll just take it out to show you guys. It's this nice, like, look at it. Beautiful dough. All right, it's gonna pop it back here. Double in size. Set the clock, one hour. While that's happening, we're gonna make the filling. So the filling for this includes not just one, not just two, what's that you say? Three, yes, three kinds of cheese, as per usual, because there's one thing we know when we're watching Faraday and the cooking show is that we're gonna have multiple cheese. And what are those cheeses, you ask? Well, we've got rigotte, ricotta. We've got some mozzarella, snack and cheese. We got the mutz. What's the third one? You guessed it. Parmigiano Reggiano, or parm. Right on in there, okay? What else goes in this magical mixture? Well, some freshly chopped parsley as well. Plop that on in there. And then we've got garlic salt. Yes, you could use fresh garlic. I thought about using fresh garlic. Guess what? I really like the taste of garlic salt. Um, so we're gonna use garlic salt. This also totally reminds me, this mixture, of what my mom used to stuff shells with and to make lasagna as a kid. You know, she'd be making this mixture. Lasagna sheets would be sitting there, you know, boiled and cooked, and I would literally like just dip it in the sauce, take a chunk of this, and eat it like that. And this, this is just delicious. So you can smell it. We're gonna get our dough. Our dough's almost ready. We'll roll it out, and it's gonna be. This is gonna be spread onto it, and then we're gonna top it with not just one kind of meat, but two kinds of meat. We got salami and mortadella. Check her out. Looking good. I'm gonna turn this out. I'm gonna flour my board a little bit. Look at this dough. Oh, it feels so soft. And there's nothing better than a little patty cake like this. So I want to be 12 inch by 16 inch, I think. So let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. That's twelve. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine and a half. So I need to go longer here, longer there. Okay. How accurate is that? Pretty good. This is about the tips of two, my two fingers, not here, but those two tips are one inch. See, told you. One inch. These fingers don't lie. We're going to spread the cheese, spread the old cheese all along our dough, okay? Look at this. Beautiful. Okay. I'm just going to take this and spread her out. Now we got our meats. We got the old mortadella. And we got the old salami. 
It's about six ounces of each meat, and we're gonna shingle it over at the top. I know you guys are all very aware of salami, but a lot of people don't really work with or eat maybe mortadella as much. Mortadella usually has like peppercorns and stuff into it. Like here, a lot of times you'll find it with pistachios. We were eating with pistachios in Italy and it was so good. You can also see it's got an added fat into it. First time I discovered mortadella was when I was with my family. My parents got a timeshare. They got suckered into a timeshare in like the 70s or something. And we went on vacations everywhere around the United States and the world evidently um, on this timeshare. They still have it. There was like a deli on site at the, like the place we were staying at. And my dad would like go and it's just all this, you know, Italy, it's got fresh produce everywhere and fruits and vegetables. It was summer, it was June, I was just out of college. It was wonderful. My dad discovered mortadella and we ate mortadella with everything. We had mortadella for breakfast, we had mortadella for lunch, we had sandwiches. And then we came back to the States and we realized that it was here too. It wasn't just a... Italian thing, but whatever. For us, it was, it was, we'll always have the ring of Italy to us. Let's roll this bad boy up. You guys know how to roll your joints and stuff, right? Your blunts. I'm just doing that. We're gonna cut this into eight and we'll nest it into our prepared pan, okay? We can trim off the end, end a little bit because there's not much in there, but I also don't mind it. I don't want to waste any of it. But. God, it's cute. So cute. Mm, take a picture of me. We're just gonna nest this right on into here. Okay. Look at that. She's a real beaut, hey? We're gonna cover it again, let it rise for maybe another hour or so until they've puffed up. So you can see these have puffed up. They're a bit more swollen. We're gonna brush it with some butter and sprinkle it with more cheese because the cheese in the old oven we go 350 50 minutes maybe an hour check it 50 minutes cheesy goodness just fucking oh, it's amazing imagine if it was it's christmas in july or christmas morning whatever it doesn't matter but imagine waking up and having this be your breakfast though. But actually you'd have to wait like three hours. This video took all day to do. But still, this would be pretty awesome. Ah. Ah. So, you don't need a timeshare to go to Italy. You can just Sicily at home by yourself, make some of this, have some mortadella, get your bologna, your mortadella. Mm. For a recipe, click the link below. That's it. Should I talk? Should I keep talking? Should I keep digging myself a stupid hole of idiocy no. that editors can use to <laughs> make me look fun <laughs> and dumb? <laughs> All right.